Let's look at how to make a multiplayer game involving two players sharing a keyboard or using gamepads. Uh, I will really suggest gamepads as the keyboard can have problems which I'll talk about later. So here's a game that has uh, two players and hopefully you've had a chance to play it. So one player here is controlled by WASD and the other player is controlled by um, the arrow keys. Now they don't collide but you could organize collision detection if you wanted to. So to create the two players, uh, again I have a separate file for the players here and I've made an init players function. That won't run automatically, so I have to call that in the init function, which is one of the functions that runs automatically in the program. So I've called init players. I'm actually going to init coins here after the players because I think I've made it so that the coins spawn away from the players. Um, oh, that actually didn't matter because we call randomized coin pos. Anyway, never mind. Let's have a look at how we made the players. I've made the players here as objects. So I've got player one as an object with X and Y. Now remember there are different ways to make an object. I could have just written object end and then all of these would have been, pl oops, <laughs> player one dot X, etc., etc., etc. But I find it's a bit nicer to put everything inside this object creation area here. So player one has an X position, a Y position, a speed and a score, and so does player two. Even if these numbers are the same, we create two separate objects because these numbers will change uh, as the game goes on. Great, we've cr created our two objects. Now the biggest thing to look at here is the movement. So how do we actually get um, the different players to move around? Because if you, if you use keyboard dot left right up down um, that actually will take both WASD and the arrow keys as input and we don't want that so how do we get them to be separate okay so player one we're going to use keyboard dot WSDA and keyboard dot two we're going to do arrow up make sure you don't use just up if you only want the arrow keys to trigger player two moving you have to write arrow up arrow down, arrow right, arrow left. If you use these along with WASD, then the arrows uh, keys and the WASD key should be separate and you should be able to separately control the players. Now there's a separate uh, thing with the gamepad. If you just say gamepad up, down, right, left, that only caters for one player. So to cater for two players, you need to indicate that you want the first gamepad with these square brackets and the number or the digit zero. Remember in computer programming very often we'll count starting from zero instead of from one. So the first gamepad is gamepad zero uh, and the second gamepad is gamepad one. And I think these relate to uh, the order in which they were attached to the system, but I haven't checked that. Either way, it doesn't really matter very much. As long as you use zero and one, um, then that should work. Now, this code here, I've got uh, if keyboard.w or gamepad.up. Now, that's really, really important there to remember. Um, and you, you remember that from the gamepad section. Uh, that simply means if either of those is being pressed, the character will move up. Okay. One final thing I wanted to talk about with this is there is a problem. And the problem is that Keyboards are not really designed for games. If we open up a, another tab here and we type in keyboard test, there are a number of different websites. Uh, some of them may be blocked at school, unfortunately, um, but there are a number of different websites that will uh, show you uh, what is actually registering from your computer. Let me just show you quickly here. I'm going to press the A key there. Now I'm going to press the D key. Now just be aware here that if it's white it means it's being held and if it's blue it means it's been pressed before. So I'm just going to press all WASD and I'm going to press left down right up. So now you can clearly see if, if it's white it means it's being held. Now if I hold W, uh, w and A and D and uh, you can see now I'm tapping left and I'm tapping up and tapping right and tapping down. However, if I press 
left and up. And now I'm, I'm actually tapping right and I'm tapping down and they don't register because, and there's no rhyme or reason to it, but there's certain combinations of keys that if they're held down, other keys won't actually work. So what I really suggest you do is you hop onto one of these websites and you, with WASD and the arrow keys, it's not really so much of an issue. But for example, if you were planning on having one where you, a player might be holding A and W to fly top left and then pressing C to fire, uh, then you might find that uh, tapping another key. So for example, um, I'm trying to find one that doesn't work now. E. I'm tapping E and nothing is happening. So you notice I could tap R, fine. I could tap T, fine. But if I'm holding these, uh, these three keys and now I tap E, it doesn't work. So just make sure you go and test your game. If your game has like two players who are moving and firing and a shield or whatever, you might find that those combinations of keys don't work well together. Uh, game pads, this shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, uh, I hope that helps and good luck with your multiplayer game.